This jump demonstration shows how to conduct a measurement systems analysis with the gauge R&R method. We are using the gasket dataset from the sample data directory. In this measurement study, three operators each took two measurements of five different parts in a fully crossed design. The continuous measurements are recorded in the column Y. To perform our gauge R&R analysis, we'll go to Analyze, Quality and Process, Variability Attribute Gauge Chart. We'll enter the column Y into the Y response role, Part into the Part Sample ID role, and Operator into the X grouping role. We have various analysis options on the left, but we'll leave those at the defaults for now and click OK. At the top of the report, we see a variability chart representing each of the 30 total measurements in the dataset. The bars connecting the points show the range of measurements for each part by each operator. Under the red triangle, we can find options for adding additional information to the chart. For example, adding group means to see the mean measurement for each of the three operators. It looks like operator A may be measuring a little high relative to the others. Below this chart, we have a plot of standard deviation values at each combination of operator and part. We can see that the highest standard deviation was observed when operator A measured part number 5. To perform a gauge r, &R analysis, we'll go to the red triangle and select Gauge Studies, Gauge r, &R. We first specify the model type, which in this example is crossed. We may also want to enter a tolerance range or interval. Here we'll enter a tolerance range of 100 and click OK. The gauge r, &R report is added at the bottom of the window. This includes a summary and gauge r, &R statistics section that summarizes the results of our study. The results show a percent gauge r, &R of approximately 23.9 meaning that 23.9% of the total variability is attributed to the measurement system. The precision to tolerance ratio of approximately 0.34 indicates that roughly one third of the tolerance range is lost to measurement variability. Note that additional analysis options are available under the red triangle, including the option to conduct bias and linearity studies if your dataset has a column containing standard or reference values for each part.